I was always interested in doing something outdoorsy related to science. Since I grew up in California, we spent a lot of family vacations at the beach, and that just kind of started my interest in marine ecology. Since I've been a graduate student, it's definitely been all about learning new skills and applying those new skills. We spend time out on the boat taking samples, we spend time in the lab, uh, prepping our samples, going through them, identifying organisms, and we spend a lot of time just running analyses on our data and evaluating the results that we get. I'm working primarily with bivalve distribution and abundance. There's been a huge increase off the west coast in three species of bivalve, and I'm basically trying to figure out what caused it and what are the possible impacts of this increase. We go out on the boat to collect sediment cores and then we sieve it through and keep everything greater than one millimeter. Then I go through at the microscope and pick out all the living organisms, which takes quite a while, but in the end we're left with species counts, which I then use to create images and graphs and plots and try to figure out what the community is like in that area. The research we do here in the lab is used as baseline research and monitoring for uh, placing wave energy devices, which obviously has a huge impact on both the human community and the environment in the area. It's been really great working at Hatfield at OSU because it's such a well-respected marine research institution. I have excellent access to research vessels and lab facilities, and more than that, I work with a very talented and diverse group of people. We also have the Science Center right here, which is wonderful for outreach activities, science education, and things of that nature. And so working in a place such as this, which has outreach, education, straight science, applied science has been a really wonderful and unique learning opportunity.